So what is up everyone this is Kiran here welcome back to Tech Kiran YouTube channel Ancient OS 5.2 which has a very unique kind of UI it's already available for the Poco X3 and some other devices for the Redmi Note 8 users it's now finally available I'm using from some time I have installed it on my device and it's just good a lot of things I've already shown you about this Ancient OS 5.2 but just gonna share with you some missing things which I didn't show you in the previous video and also some device specific things like both the camera status and how about the safety and status and some little bit of things dual series borrow which you already know about that as a very interesting kind of feature of this instant os 5.2 we're going to talk about this. It's kind of a really smooth ROM actually. I am using Poco X3 in my case in uh, Instant OS previous build and that was great with 120Hz refresh rate but with 60Hz in Redmi Note 8 it's still quite fast. This is quite good and quite smooth ROM. If we talk about the quick settings customizations you can see this quick settings clock and the tiles which you can easily adjust from the settings the brightness slider a lot more things are quite good here and there are a lot of customizations actually this is a customizations based custom room actually and it has a lot means a lot of customizations and also some unique kind of UI customizations which you can customize by going into ancient OS settings if you talk about things I first went tested the torch it was not working i just tested that it was not working after some time after one two tries it was not working but after just certain times after just first reboot it was not working but after that it was working perfectly fine this is the thing which i have noticed so it's not kind of a bug but yes in the first thing it was not working but now it's just working perfectly fine i thought i should tell you about this and like that if you talk about some other things which you get here as you can see the wi-fi bluetooth these are the icons which you can customize very easily Talking about the default launcher settings, it has the same kind of launcher which you get in all the Instant OS 5.2 builds which you have for other devices also has the same kind of feature with hidden and protected apps feature is available too which is kind of an app log which is working perfectly fine so it's also an official build so yes some features and some feature etc everything is kind of the same only the device specific things will be changed but nothing else like that let's talk about some other things about this instant os 5.2 as you can see the brightness lighter is quite good and impressive one but yes you can adjust these kind of options by going into settings if you want to it has almost every kind of same thing but if you talk about the camera the default camera which is the default camera you are getting right now wait let me just try to focus it right this we have the MIUI 11 camera right now it's not MIUI 12 camera this is a MIUI 11 camera with that 48 megapixel photo portrait etc some other features which were expected you can simply check out the settings by going to settings and you have almost simple kind of settings options available yes you have the option to use the gcam if you are a lover of gcam you'll definitely Definitely use that let me show you by going into how about the lenses if these lenses are perfectly working or not we have this ultra wide the normal one and this one is the depth maybe and that's working perfectly fine if you talk about the ultra wide lens yes it's working too so the features are perfectly working fine I haven't tested much of the things because I don't use this MIUI camera much I always use I always try to use Gcam as much as I can I'm using the Gcam 8.1 and Nikita Gcam 8.1 and if you don't know about that Gcam I have a video on that one make sure to check out that if you want to use this this kind of stock camera you can still use this it's just working perfectly fine I tried to install some other Google apps which are working perfectly fine but the safety status is passing without any issues your Redmi Note 8 is passing the safety and compatibility test so I am actually using banking apps without any issues and including that if you move on to the play protect certification the play protect which means my device is certified so everything seems to be quite good and impressive one right now if you're moving for the settings, yes, it has all those same features if you compare it with the other Ancient OS 5.2 devices. If you go for the interface, the thing which I didn't saw in the previous build, um, sorry, I just saw in the previous build, I just missed there, which is called status bar icons customization. As you can see, this is how you can customize your icon pack very easily with the thing which I was using in my Redmi Note 5 Pro also. It has a dual status bar and including that it also has a very interesting kind of option, quick settings clock style customizations let me show you but just tried this one and this is how it's looking like you can customize a lot of things as i previously told you it is a customization focused custom room so it's just up to you how you want to customize your quick settings series bar switches tiles everything you can just adjust and customize whatever you want to use it's just up to you 
and smoothness as i previously told you it's great these were the things i just wanted to let you know it has all those features thanks for watching don't forget to like and share this video and goodbye